It's the start of a four-game set and this Elvis night. The Sox and the Cleveland Indians next. From Comiskey Park in Chicago, Fox Sports Chicago presents White Sox Baseball. Tonight it's Albert Bell, a big hurt Frank Thomas, and the Chicago White Sox as they host Jim Tomey, Omar Miskell, and the first place Cleveland Indians. Hi, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Comiskey Park. With Tom and Troy, I'm Ken Harrelson. As we get set to bring you the first of this four-game set against the Tribe. Sox are 6-3 and three on this homestand. They have won six out of their last eight. And tonight, sending rookie Southpaw Jim Parquet to the hill. That's right. Jimmy pitched very well in his last start against Kansas City. Hawk, he pitched six innings. He walked only two. And now that's going to be a key for him against his very good Cleveland Indian offense, one of the tops in all of baseball. Charles Nagy, the Cleveland pitcher tonight, has really been struggling. He's given up 19 earned runs in his last 16 innings of work. All right, sit back, relax, and strap it down. First of this four-game set, and we'll be back with the rest of the starting lineups right after this. Fox Sports Chicago's coverage of Chicago White Sox baseball is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places. Heineken, Rude Drew since 1886. Seek the truth. The new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. Discover car. It pays to discover. Accept it where you see the notice sign. ComEd, the official energy company of the Chicago White Sox. ComEd, what do you do with your power? And by Ameritech. In a world of technology, people make the difference. This week on Bull Sox Underground, Sammy who? Our Southside hitman has a mean streak of his own going in July. Then grab your blue suede shoes, don't be cruel, and prepare to get all shook up at Comiskey on Elvis Night. Plus, Chris Novak goes from player to coach by instructing kids at the White Sox Training Center. All that, the week in review, and much more on Bull Sox Underground. Sunday at 11.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. Were you born without a soul? Excuse me? You don't know how to love, do you? What are you talking about? But I'm talking about this. It's just an oil filter. Just an oil filter? Look, nothing stops more dirt than America's number one brand of oil filter, Fram. Now get out of here. <laughs> how do you live with yourself? Fram oil filters. Pay a little more now or pay a lot later. What do you get from your agent for all that money you overpay on car insurance? Another year to wonder why. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This man represents all the people who switched their car insurance to GEICO last week. Sir, please raise your hand 10,000 times. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Tommy? Yeah, Becky Swanson's big brother says monsters live under a little kid's bed. Becky Swanson's brother's dumb. Besides, lights scare monsters away. Well, um, Tommy, he says they live in closets, too. These boys warded off countless monsters for nine straight hours. <laughs> Calm, Ed. What do you do with your power? Good evening and welcome back to Comiskey Park in Chicago for the first of four between the White Sox and the first place Cleveland Indians. As you look at the American League Central race, the Indians walking away with it right now. They're 11 and a half games ahead of the Kansas City Royals. 11 and a half, same over the Twins. The White Sox are 13 back and Detroit brings up the rear end of the division. Mike Hargrove is the skipper for the Tribe. And he's got a very good lineup. I'll tell you, they are power packed from top to bottom. And here's what they look like tonight. Leading off in center field, Kenny Lofton. Batting second at shortstop. This guy can really pick it. Omar Vizquel. Manny Ramirez plays right field. He'll hit third. Cleanup man, first baseman, Jim Tomey. Travis Fryman is at third base in the fifth spot, followed by left fielder, Mark Witten. David Justice is the DH. He's going to hit seventh. Batting eighth behind the plate is veteran Pat Borders. And bringing up the rear at second, David Bell. And on the mound for the Sox is 23-year-old left-hander Jim Parquet. Jimmy, in 
Eight starts is two and two with a 572 earned run average on the year. 49 hits allowed and 39 in the third. He has walked 25 while striking out 23. Defensively, the Sox line up with Albert Bell in left field, Mike Cameron in center, and Maglio Ordonez in right. Robin Vettur returns to third base. Mike Caruso is at shortstop. Ray Durham plays second, and Will Cordero is the first baseman. Veteran Chad Cruder behind the plate, and Jim Parquet, the rookie, on the mound. And the weather tonight is perfect. And I mean that 77 degrees at game time humidity 64 percent wind out of the east at 13 fair and pleasant is the forecast for tonight in Chicago. The umpires are good friends in blue Joe Brinkman is at home plate Marty Foster at first Eric Cooper is at second base and Tim Welke is the third base umpire Jim Parquet pitched very well no decision on Sunday against the Kansas City Royals he worked six quality innings two runs eight hits he walked two while striking out four. And he is going to have to throw strike one to this Cleveland Indian team because if you get behind them, they can beat your brains in. They get that 2 and 0 3 1 situation, and they are as good as anyone offensively. Now, Jerry Manuel, the skipper for the White Sox, he has seen his team play much better baseball since the All Star break. And there you see his record 41 and 54. But since the break, Sox have a 3-2-2 team earned run average in the second half. That's fifth in the American League over that time period. Starters and relievers have been both doing much better. Starters with a 3-5-2 ERA. So hopefully more of the same this evening. And it is Elvis night. And speaking of Elvis, here's a hunk of hunk of burning love. The Hawker Roo. All right, big guy. The Whipperoo, thank you very much. <laughs> And once again, welcome to White Sox baseball right here on Fox Sports Chicago. First of this four game, a weekend series, and also a Monday. Kenny Lofton, 31 year old center fielder, will lead it off, hitting it 278, eight homers. He has driven in 44. Now, field around to the left as the first pitch of the ball game. That's taken down low. This is the sixth meeting of the year between these two ball clubs. Cleveland holds a 3 2 edge. And he has come in with an 11 and a half game lead in the American League Central. And there is a shot base hit in the center field. So good speed aboard. He has 28 stolen bases. And Kenny Lofton is not afraid to hit against left handed pitching. Boy, that pitch right there. He got it. Hands up above the ball. Just tomahawks this one in the left center field. It's on the inner half of the plate inside out stroke that'll work. Well if you brought a very very pertinent and germane point to this game with Parquet he better get on top first pitch strike is almost critical against this offensive club. They have a good balance in their lineup they got some good fastball hitters got some good breaking ball hitters and they're strong up and down. <laughs> Look at those mutton chop sideburns. He's everywhere. Well, Parquet just a little commercial toss over the first. Indians hitting at 279 as a club. They have a 4.01 team ERA. Sox at 268 and a 5.64 team ERA. A change up down low and the count evens at one. And he's been scuffling a little bit. They've lost three in a row. But that record of 53 and 40. I'll tell you this if the Sox or somebody in the Central this year could have played decent baseball, there wouldn't be an 11 and a half game lead because just 13 games over with an 11 and a half game lead. Yeah, that's something ridiculous. wrong with that picture. Yeah. Oh, you're so right. Lofton, decent over there at first base with that lead as that pitch foul back. Another change in the count one and two. Manny Ramirez on deck as Omar Vizquel. You know, he's only committed one error all year. He can pick it. Yeah, he's a great defensive player. He certainly is. One of the best. Meanwhile, Cleveland is just 14 and 12 against left-handed starters this year. 
Well, you think, you know, with Justice and Lofton, of course, they hang in there very well, but they just match up a lot better against right handed pitching. Tops that one foul over to the Sox dugout. So the count one and two. Well, the Indians, we just mentioned, for the most part, having, having it their own way in 98. Not playing that well. But they can hit. Kruder puts the number one down, moves inside, get it in there. Jimmy. Now he's going to go over to first base, and all of us here at Fox Sports Chicago would like to welcome our affiliate, Prime Cable, and all our viewers in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Chicago yes. They have a lot of my money. No, they don't. Yeah, they, they do. My money. <laughs> Chicago, birthplace of Sarah Meyer, Francesco Hearn. Right. That's a great city, isn't it? Yes, it is. Parquet, very, very deliberate. When somebody can run his own bases, he gasses him up upstairs. He's gone. He'll grab some bench, and that's out number one. I like it. Jim Parquet's got to be proud of that fastball. He wants to throw that change. Well, you get that change up, up and that's going to get hit a long way. But right there, that heater upstairs, that's tough to get to at 90 miles an hour. And he is so deceptive, he doesn't look like he can get it up there because of his size and his stature and even his delivery. Sneaky. Here's the right fielder, Manny Ramirez. At 299, 20 homers, 77 driven in. And he now 26 years old as the outfield swings around to the right. There's a two out for Ventura up with it. Durham, yeah. Lock him up around the horn. Five to four to three. And they'll do it. So after having a play, it's Cleveland nothing and the good guys coming to bat. Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom. For only $99 or less, you can fly anywhere Southwest Airlines flies when you purchase by July 23rd. You are now free to move about the country. Look inside a new Dodge Ram conversion van and you'll find a virtual home on wheels. But take away features like the video system, captain's chairs, and plush interior, and you'll find the remarkable new Dodge Ram van with a more powerful Magnum V8 and strong unibody construction. After all, even a home on wheels should be built on a solid foundation. And with $1,500 cash back, you can start construction right away. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Why are these things called answering machines? They don't have all the answers. They can't tell me who was on call waiting while I was talking to my boss, or if anyone called while I was online. That's why I'm getting voicemail 98. It's from Ameritech. It takes messages all the time. You don't. Voicemail 98 from Ameritech is just $4.95 a month. Call now and get a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's nothing to lose. Get the message? I'm finally getting mine. No score, bottom of the first inning here at Comiskey Park on a wonderful evening for baseball. And here's the White Sox lineup for tonight. Leading off at second base, Ray Durham batting second at shortstop, Mike Caruso. Frank Thomas, DH, and bats third. See, he's hitting 360 against Nagy in his career. Middle third of the lineup will feature Albert Bell in left field, Robin Ventura at third base, and Mags Ordonez in right, the bottom third of Will Cordero at first, center fielder Mike Cameron, and behind the plate, Chad Cruder. And Charles Nagy, the 31-year-old right-hander, who now resides in Westlake, Ohio, 19 games, 7 and 6, with a 5.82 earned run average. 157 hits, that's a bunch. 119 innings, just 37 walks and 63 strikeouts and 26 homers given up. Yes, he has. That's a lot of home runs and 19 starts. As Ray Durham will lead it off, and before we show you our picks to click, you at home select yours. Well, I was talking with some Cleveland people prior to the game with me. They said he has just been awful out there. Said he is 
Not pitching inside at all. Ooh. Falling behind in the counts. And he has been very short. He's one and one against us this year. Both times he has been short on his fastball. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, he didn't look anywhere close to the way he did a couple years ago. And he was a very dominating pitcher oh, in this yeah. league. One of the better ones. Yes, he was. That 2 0 pitch popped up into center field. Kenny Lofton comes off fighting that win. And that's our number one. Well, and here's the way the tribe looks on defense. Witten, Lofton, and Ramirez in the outfield. Fryman, Vizcal, Bell, and Tomey are the infielders. Pat Borders. Well, he's been on a few teams. So is Witten. We had to match those two guys up. And Charles Nagy on the mound. I wonder if they got all their moving money. Do you think? I know they did. Jeez. I know somebody that didn't. I'm not going to sleep Sitting tonight. to my right. Mike Caruso stands in hitting a 317 four homers. He has driven in 30. Mike has faced Nagy six times. He has one hit fouls that fastball back. Nagy 96 and 71 in his career. Eight and ten lifetime against the Sox. There's a chopper. The scale. The smooth the scale. Oh. And he just does get it. Now Caruso is about as fast as anyone going down that first baseline. The scale just makes everything look easy. Well, he knows the speed. He got him. Good call by Marty Foster. So here's the big hurt. Frank hitting a 272, 15 long ones, 59 knocked in. He has faced Nagy 50 times, has 18 hits, 15 of them have stayed in the ballpark. Is this going to be a very quick 1 2 3 inning? And after one, no score. Fox Sports News, prime time. When they hit the road, they feel right at home. Tonight, a look at baseball's Road Warriors. What makes them so tough when they play away? Only on Fox Sports News Prime Time. Let's crunch some numbers on America's best-selling minivan, Dodge Caravan. Right now, every caravan comes with remarkably low 1.9 financing, or up to $1,500 cash back on Grand Caravan. Or on this caravan, subtract $1,250 cash back, hit total, and your price is under $16,900, making it America's lowest-priced minivan. And imagine what all these savings can do for your bottom line. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Hey, isn't that Ann Werner over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's on the game room with Chet. <laughs> hey, Cooley, why don't you go over there and talk to her? Well, mm -hmm. may maybe I will. Get over there, man. <clears throat> Get in there. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to um, tell me how many RBIs Frank Thomas had last season? 125. Good. Thanks. Sure. <clears throat> so? I got a number. Jim Rome on interleague play. Stadium sellout. The battles are epic. How is this bad for baseball? Rome on Lawrence Phillips. The Dolphins had better cut him outright. LP is not the next Jim Brown. Apparently, he's well on his way to becoming the next OJ Simpson. Rome on the NBA lockout. <laughs> Look, debating the merits of a hard versus a soft salary cap is one thing, but fighting for the right to smoke dope is ridiculous. The last word. Weeknights on Fox Sports Chicago. The central leading tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. No score, top of the second inning. For the Indians, it'll be Tommy Freiman, Witten to face Jim Parquet making his first ever appearance against the Cleveland Indians. Tommy hitting at 322, 24 long words, and 74 driven in. There's good first pitch fastball strike. Oh boy. Park. Yeah. Those are typical numbers against the White Sox for Tommy. Look at this. No, 444. Better? Yeah, he's hit us harder than that. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, he lined out a lot. Fouls that breaking ball away and the count very quickly. Nothing in two. 
American League slate of action will show New York at Toronto, Detroit host Boston, Tampa Bay at Texas, Baltimore at Anaheim. Sweet Lou's Mariners are hosting the Royals and Minnesota at Oakland. Got him on the outside corner. He aced him. Tommy's gone. And that's the second strikeout for Parquet. Well, Tommy's right on top of the plate. But Chad didn't move his glove. And our supervision will take. Oh, he just painted him. Right on the outside edge. Of oh, the outside part. That's why they have that black part on the plate. That's right. Here's Travis Fryman hitting at 272, 18 homers and 62 driven in. Got off to a horrendous start, but now has really picked it up. Takes first pitch strike. Now he's swinging the bat a lot better. 314 in his last 10 games with 13 runs batted in and five homers. That's good. 321 since the latter part of June. One and one the count. Action over in the National League shows the Fighting Fish taking on the Cubs down in Florida. San Diego at Cincinnati. Montreal hosting the Pirates. Milwaukee takes on the Braves down at Turner Field. Philadelphia at New York. San Francisco at Houston. St. Louis hosts the Dodgers. And the Diamondbacks are playing host to the Rockies. A pitch inside. Two balls and a strike. Well, the last time we saw Travis Fryman, if you look at his numbers against lefties, that's good. 321 with 15 homers against right-handers. He had an open stance and he was off the plate. He looks like he's going back to his style that he had when he was with the Tigers. Good fastball. He was tardy. Well, we figured at the time, and we I think we mentioned it, that he wouldn't be in that open stance very long. No, he just looked bad in it. it just wasn't him. Of course, when he was with the Tigers there for a long time, he really had a severely closed stance. Yes. He's evened it out a little bit more, but he is slightly, slightly closed right now. Good try by Parquet. Didn't get it, and the count goes full. Elvis Knight here at Comiskey Park, and after the game, Elvis is of the sky are going to be parachuting into Comiskey Park. Plus, there's going to be a tremendous fireworks show. So, if you're in the area, come on out. Good change right there. Had him out in front. Good motion. Trent Carlini, the number one Elvis in the world today. Yeah, he'll be uh, performing. And last year they had him between innings too, on the dugout. He's going to do a little work, I believe, between innings in this ball game. He's good. Payoff pitch. That's low ball four. So the first walk issued by Parquet comes with one out here in the top of the second. That'll bring up the switch hitting Mark Witten. And Jimmy Parquet, fastball 89-91, is curve and a changeup. But most important, he's got to throw strike one. Here's big Mark Witten. I still remember that haymaker. He threw to Jack McDowell. <laughs> he didn't throw it, he landed it. He did, and Jack, his knees buckled and everything, but he didn't go down. No. That was a surprise. Takes ball one. Oh, Witten hits bombs out of here in BP. Oh, he can do that. What did he hit four or five in one game? He was with the Cardinals, I believe. He, you got to throw this guy's fastballs in. He wants it away. And at one time had probably the best arm in baseball. Yeah. Checks it up, takes the strike, and the count evens at one. He is huge. He is a very large man. Well, the Indians with a whole ton of roster changes this year. They've really had some movement on that ball club. Yeah. Now feel just about straight up. As that's down low. Two and one the count. Top of the sixth inning at Tiger Stadium. Two two tie. Red Sox. Top of the fifth in Toronto. One one tie. Yankees. Just a normal lead by Fryman. There's a change up out in front. And the count evens at two with David Justice on deck. It's a 
pretty good team pretty good lineup when you can throw David Justice in that number seven spot. Two two pitch. So a full count. We'll see what Hargrove wants to do with Ryman, who has five for eight stolen bases. Jeff Newman, the coach at third for Cleveland. And as you look at Al Bumbry, left hand hitting outfielder for the Orioles. Yes, he got him. Call third strike. That is number three for Parquet. Two gone. Fastball changeup is the way he went after Witt, but boy, that last pitch was just a laser, 90 miles an hour right on the outside corner. That's going to get a lot of people. So here's Justice, 32 year old veteran, hitting at 287, 13 homers, 53. Got off to a big, big start and it's cooled off. Looks at that fastball upstairs. Yeah, it appeared the start he got off to Wimpy, he was going to hit 300 plus, maybe 40 home runs. Yeah. Driving 120. Yeah, thinking about an MVP or something like that. Yeah. That's how good he looked that first month of the season. Actually, first couple months. There goes the runner. He had a good jump right there as that pitch fouled away to even account at one. Fryman was going from a dead stop. Buda would have had a pretty good shot at throwing him out. Justice usually really solid against left-handed pitching. He's just hitting 250 against Southpaws this year. Lays off that. Two balls and a strike. The Cardinals leading the Dodgers 1-0. St. Louis hitting in the bottom of the first inning. A home run. John Drysdale Jr. tells us it was Mark McGuire, and he is correct. All oh, right. Number 41. That He's ball hit hard. Nice play by Cordero. Steps on the bag, and it'll retire the side. Nothing across. One left after an inning and a half. No score. Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Flying to the New England area for business? If these 12 reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines to Providence or Manchester, maybe this will. Call 1-800-I-FLY-SWA. You are now free to move about the country. Arguably the most luxurious ride of any sport utility vehicle in the world, car and driver. Quieter than the Bentley Continental T, road and track. Best luxury sport utility vehicle and in initial quality in a tie, J.D. Power & Associates. At Infinity, we don't like to honk our own horn. We prefer to let others honk it for us. The Infinity QX4. Own one and you'll understand. Lease an Infinity QX4 for $3.99 a month for 39 months with an initial payment of $32.48. The ultimate Derek Jeter dream date. First, you call a girl. Tell her that you're preparing a perfect candlelight dinner for her. I throw in some R&B. I can't cook, so I order some food. Tell them to give me the works and put it on my Discover card. Splash on a little cologne. 
throw on your apron. And the Discover card cash back bonus is the icing on the cake. What else would she want to do but to watch highlights of us winning the World Series in 1996? It pays to Discover. To apply, call 1-800-IT-PAYS-2. Accepted where you see the Novus sign. No score, top of the second inning, and as the second half continues, the only place to find out what's happening with the Sox on and off the field is Bull Sox Underground. Tom Waddle brings you features and interviews you can't find anywhere else. Go Underground Sunday mornings at 11.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. It's the show behind the show. A lot of Cleveland fans in attendance this evening. As usual, Southwest Airlines will take you here. Southwest Cheap. Airlines loves it when the Sox and Cleveland play. Yeah. Here in Chicago as that pitch up high to Albert Bell. Hitting at 297, 27 long ones, 85 driven in. Albert, three for 16, lifetime against his former teammate. There's a soft line drive to David Bell. And right now, let's check out our picks to click. Jim and Jamie Angio went with the big hurt. Wimpy and his entourage went with Mike Russo. Boy, do I have a team tonight or what? Andy Petronic and Don Drysdale Jr. and I went with Albert Bell. Robin takes first pitch, strike. Robin at 261, 11 homers and 48 knocked in. Curveball, no. Robin 15 for 53 lifetime against Nagy. He of the blonde haired Nagy's. Yeah. That ball hit well in the left. Mark Whitten goes back. He's there. And that's out number two. Charles Nagy profile fastball 88 to 90. Curve splitter and change that his talk mentioned earlier. Maybe a little short on that fastball right now. That is a look that's really become in vogue, isn't it? That uh, curveball. To Mags, hitting at 274, 10 homers, 42 driven in. I think he'd look wonderful on you. No, thank you. Do you ever see Rod Steiger in No Way to Treat a Lady? Yeah. Well, that one guy, he played Dorian Smith. Right. Every time I see one of these guys with that hair, that's what I think of. It is? Yeah. The 1 1, 2 1. Anything else you think about, you know? That's kind of the stuff I think about. Chris Snowpack's hair is starting to grow in. Blonde headed guy? Yeah. Curveball. I think it's surfing. <laughs> <laughs> two and two um, the cow. <laughs> stuff like that. Fastball in on the fist, and Fryman cannot come up with it. Got the in between hop right there. They look like Travis got a real good jump on that one as far as recognition. Not at all. I mean, he tried to backhand the ball that looked like it was right at him. And right here, Mags gets jammed. He gets sawed off. Not a whole lot on this. Instead of charging and getting it on the short hop, he tries to backhand it. He gave a little bit of ground right there. And there you see the end result. So here's Cordero hitting a 261 nine homers 32 knocked in. Well one for nine lifetime against the Cleveland right hander. Takes first pitch fastball strike outside corner. No score here in the bottom of the second inning if you're just joining us. Two. Backed him up with another fastball. He 
did a good jump and go, Mags. Curveball. Dropped down a little bit. So one and two the count. Six three, two hundred pounds. Thirty one year old Charles Nagy. There goes Mags. And there's the breaking ball. Oh. So on this one, now the long peg, not in time. They're going to go over to third base. Ah. Max, hope he didn't hurt himself. So we will check and see. Meanwhile, after two, nothing. Passengers on arriving flights can be back on the Hello? Mike, it's me. I just landed. How'd the meeting go? I think it went great. Terrific. Listen, There's a new cellular service from Ameritech okay. that's so clear, it's like you're there. Lot C! We'll get on it first thing in the morning. All right, I'll see you then. Okay. Virtually no static or interference. Clear path. So clear, it's like you're there. Now get a free phone and 300 minutes for only $45. Monday in the Game Room. Cleveland has to face the combined firepower of Bell and Thomas one more time. And Dave Otto covers all the bases as the Sox look to send the Indians home on a losing note. Monday at 6.30. It's Baseball Thursday on Fox Sports Net. Fly, fly away! The biggest bats. This is tag. Forget it! The best stars. He struck him out. And the stars of tomorrow hit the field every Thursday. He robs him of another home run. The national game of the week. Catch Baseball Thursday on Fox Sports Net. Life is a long, winding road. But there's no reason why you should wind up going in circles trying to get a great deal on a luxury car. At Bob Roman's Arlington Lexus in Palatine, we'll give you the best deal on the ES300, LS400, DSC Series, the all-new GS400, RX300, and the LX470 straight up. Experience the Arlington advantage at Bob Roman's Arlington Lexus in Palatine, just one block west of Route 53 on Dundee Road. The Central Leading Tribe come to town. Monday night at 6.30 on Fox Sports Chicago. It's the top of the third inning. No runs, one hit, one error for the Tribe. No runs, one hit, no errors for the Sox. It'll be Borders, Bell, then back to the top of the order in. Kenny Lofton. Borders hitting at 238, no homers. He has driven in six. Tries to bunt it. And we'll take another look at the out at third base by Ardonia's coming. Watch this slide. This is not the way you want to do it. He could have broken an ankle oh, right there. Look at that. Oh. Lands right on his tailbone. Horrible slide. Yeah. You know, that's what we used to call it a 93 foot slide. Of course, he, you know, the, everything was wrong with the technique, but go if you if he went straight into the bag, he's gonna be safe on that. Straight legged slide gets you there a lot quicker. It looked like he got discombobulated. Robin, the two hopper. Piece of cake. One out. Of course, too, you don't go to third unless you're absolutely sure you're going to get there. Third out of an inning. David Bell hitting at 268, eight homers, 29. He has driven in. He's had some big hits for this ball club. Yeah, you don't want to make the last out at third base. That's to the shortstop, Caruso. And quickly two gone. So Parquet who has three strikeouts in this ball game. Miskell, Tommy, and Witt. That number one has been very good to him. Throw that fastball. Be proud of it. Here's Lofton. Singles sharply. And to center field. Yeah. 
Takes that fastball inside. Corners in close, Robin in on the grass. There's a good fastball strike on the outside corner. Breaking ball. Good one. Well, when Parquet gets his curveball over, he can really be an effective pitcher. Absolutely. Out there. Yeah, because he's got that real sneaky little. Not a little fastball, quick fastball, 90 miles an hour, and that curveball be a great asset to him. A little tardy on that. So the count hangs at one and two. And you said it right along, Hawk. You know, if you're looking for two pitches and none of them is breaking down and in or down and away, I mean, it's a lot easier to attack a pitcher, a two pitch pitcher, as you say. Well, that's one of the things I think that a lot of good hitters in the past have tried to break it down to. You take a four pitch pitcher, you got to try to make him a three pitch pitcher. If you take a three pitch pitcher, you got to try to make him a two pitch pitcher. And you do that in your attack of his arsenal, where you stand in the box, where you stand in relationship to the plate. You can actually take a curveball away from a lot of guys. You can take a slider away from a lot of guys. And the one pitch you can never take away from anybody is a fastball, and the other one is a change. The 2 2, a change up hit deep. And you can put it on the board. That is not a good pitch to Kenny Lofton. And it's 1 0 Cleveland. Yeah, the pitch selection is, is not good. And the location is, is real bad. There's Kenny. From near, nearby East. In Chicago, Indiana, and you can see that. Boy, he just all over this one. Boy, you're in a protect mode first of all with two strikes, and then he just speeds up his bat inside with the changeup. Want to know the count to Vizquel? Struck out swinging on a good fastball. Unless if you're a right handed pitcher pitching to a right handed hitter unless you get an outstanding outstanding changeup you don't want to throw him changeups. Now it's being done a lot. It's, I don't know why it's being done a lot more and guys are just getting killed on. Yes they are. Because we have evidence that. But left handers is even more profound. It's even more magnified. You might be that almost used to be a cardinal rule in baseball. Left handers never threw a left handed hitter a changeup. Is there is a strike and the count three and one. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was almost like a, a cardinal rule. That was it. You left hander would never throw another. You're doing him a favor when you throw him a yeah. change up. And you still are, regardless of what the philosophy is. So as happens with so many rookies, they give up a home run and come back and walk the next guy as Manny Ramirez will be the next hitter. Hit into a 5-4-3 double play. Well, our club has just been killed this year on change. Oh. You know, and throwing them at the, the most inopportune times, too. I, I just really don't believe that a changeup is a good pitch with two strikes unless you have the greatest changeup in the world. Yeah, unless that's your best pitch. Yeah, and changeup to me is, is, a, is a, at its best when the pitcher's behind in the count. Yeah, when you get somebody sitting up there 2 0, 2 1, 3 1, and you've got a good changeup, you can throw that. Oh, yeah. But not left hander to left hander. No. Got to watch Vizquel. He is 17 for 25 in stolen bases. See Ramirez in his last 28 games. 297 with 38 RBIs. So he's been pretty hot with the stick. Yeah, they've had various guys step up and become, because there's a base hit to right, and become the stud, so to speak. Earlier in the year was David Justice. Tommy off to a sluggish start. Ramirez was decent. And then later on, it was Ramirez who got real hot. And Tommy got real hot. 
Fryman was struggling during that time and then there for a while Fryman stepped up. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about the balance. They've always had at least one guy really swinging the bat well. So here's Tommy called out on a fastball outside corner. And the one thing I hope you pointed out about the walking the guy after the after the homer but the, I hope this doesn't take away Jim Parquet's aggressiveness in throwing that first pitch fastball in there challenging these guys and not try and be too fine on the corners because that's when you fall behind two and oh three and one and that's when you get hit hard. Tommy's playing with a bruised forearm he was hit. Andy Pettit. Got him. Pretty good rip at that one. Well, tell me, hit a couple of bombs out of here in BP. Uh, he's fun to watch before and during games. Not too many guys in the game of baseball more aggressive at the plate than he is. He's a 342 hitter career against the White Sox. 19 homers, 50 RBIs. How many games? I don't know. It doesn't say that here, but I'm, I'm not too many. Got that breaking ball up, but it still was a strike. And he is down in the count one and two. Maybe Hawk tells us it's 58 games, 19 homers. That's pretty good. Yeah. Seems like <laughs> a whole bunch of those have won <laughs> games for the tribe as well. Looks like he hits at least one a game. Towering fly ball in right field on the fastball inside. Ardonius makes the catch. That will retire the side. But Kenny Lofton's ninth home of the year will go to the bottom of the third. One nothing Cleveland. Jim Rome on interleague play. Stadium sellout. The battles are epic. How is this bad for baseball? Rome on Lawrence Phillips. The Dolphins had better cut him outright. LP is not the next Jim Brown. Apparently, he's well on his way to becoming the next O.J. Simpson. Rome on the NBA lockout. <laughs> Look, debating the merits of a hard versus a soft salary cap is one thing, but fighting for the right to smoke dope is ridiculous. The last word, weeknights on Fox Sports Chicago. Home, home on the ridge. Heard a deer and the antelopes grow. This man entertained his wife for 20 minutes. Oh, son of a behold. Comment. What do you do with your power? Next up, diversity. Look inside a new Dodge Ram conversion van and you'll find a virtual home on wheels. But take away features like the video system, captain's chairs, and plush interior, and you'll find the remarkable new Dodge Ram van with a more powerful Magnum V8 and strong unibody construction. After all, even a home on wheels should be built on a solid foundation. And with $1,500 cash back, you can start construction right away. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Serves, spikes, sets, saves, slams, sun, sand, action. This summer, grab your shades and catch the ABP Tour, the hottest hits on the beach. Bottom of the third inning, one nothing bad guys. As we take a look at the upcoming Sox schedule, there you see tomorrow. Now that will be over WFLD, Fox, and then Sunday's game will be over WGN. We will have a finale of this four-game set against Cleveland right here on Fox Sports Chicago and that will conclude this 13 game homestand Sox as we speak are six and three as Mike Cameron will lead it off it'll be Cameron Critter and Durham takes that pitch inside and the count one and oh do you think Trent Carlini uses moose or gel <laughs> I'm I'm going with gel as a strike on the outside corner to even count at one. Mike has faced Nagy 14 times in his career. He has three hits. One of them left the ballpark. The 
Yes, he did. Oh, Mikey. You see, 16 games hitting at 298. He has really been swinging the bat much, much better. There's a curveball. Yes, he did, says Marty Foster. So that is the first strikeout for Charles Nagy. And he got him on a curveball. And Mike was jumping at the ball. We haven't seen him do this. He, he'd been taking pitches a lot better. He looked at that one pretty good. And right there, last two, boy, he was just jumping. Everything was flying open. His head had to, couldn't stay down like it has been the last few ball games. So here is Chad Critter hitting a 284 homer. He has driven in 20. He's in good shape at 2 and 0. Oh. Chad, 3 for 14 against Nagy Lifetime. There's a good fastball strike, good pitch to hit. Now feel straight up. Our cooters that sails high and wide. So once again, he's got the commanding count of three and one. That ball hit hard at a boy. Well, oh, you get that 2031 count. Look for something that you can hammer, get after it. If you miss, it's like that. So it's foul. Down your side of the field, not the opposite way. Absolutely. We've too, seen too many liners over the opposite dugout. That was a good fastball to hit. Inner half. And Chad got it out there. Down hangs full three and two. We mentioned the Sox are six and three on this homestand, winning six out of their last eight ball games. Sox now 22 and 26 at home this year. So a long way to go in this one and then the three remaining games with Cleveland tomorrow it'll be John Snyder against whoa Jared Wright as that's called strike three so Nagy strikes out Cameron strikes out Cruder. Well Joe Franklin says that this ball came back over the inside corner. Is that good last swing and now and there's the final one. Too close to take 3 2. Yeah. This is made Durham. Popped up the center. Takes that curveball. No. Last nine games, Ray hitting at 297 with three long ones. Two balls, no strikes. There's a little something different in Maggie's motion. Wimpy. Just can't quite put a finger on it. As the count moves to 3 0. Oh. Well, he's really. No, he, he, he didn't have it. Getting, he, to me, he's not getting that good shoulder turn that he once had. You know, he, he always has long armed it up there. That's low ball four, so good speed aboard. They were 21 stolen bases and 27 attempts. Now he's got to make Pat Borders throw him out. Yes. Spending a lot of time over the rubber. That's good for yeah. him. Something a little off from what we have seen Nagy when he was really dominating in the past. So here's Mike. He grounded out to his counterpart, Viscal. Ray, a good lead. Maggie, the long set. As there is ball one. Yeah. 
Or he will be going somewhere in the sequence. Yeah, he should. You know, getting back to Nagy, you know, you'd figure that uh, Mark Wiley, who's been a great pitching coach and has had Nagy for so yeah. many years, would have, you know, been able to uh, to get something on this of what we were talking about because he really has had four really poor starts in a row. Elvis Knight here at Comiskey Park. I love it. That looks like the Polish Eagle right there on his back. There goes Ray. Borders with the throw, not nearly in time. Still in base number 22. Quick feet. Quick, quick feet from Ray Durham. Well, it doesn't take him long to get the full speed. And right there, he may have had a little agreement with uh, Caruso to take because Ray did not look up to see if that ball was put into play. He got there in a hurry. Well, with two outs, you really don't have to. Yeah, that's There's true. No outs and one out where you've got to make sure that ball is put into play. That's to the second baseman, David Bell, up with it over to Tommy, and that'll retire the side. Nothing across, one left after three, one nothing. Try. Fox Sports News, prime time. When they hit the road, they feel right at home. Tonight, a look at baseball's road warriors. What makes them so tough when they play away? Only on Fox Sports News, prime time. Thunder in the city, the bread raising that half and so pretty. Cool cats bent down, chit chilly, checking out the stat zone, the new Philly. Hawthorne is the place to go for some of thoroughbred racing and concert shows. Catch thoroughbred racing with live concerts every weekend. It's hot times at Hawthorne. It's Hawthorne in the city, summer racing in the city. When we spread the wheels out a bit, moved the windshield forward a tad, lowered the step-up height a skosh, and widened the aisle a smidgen, we created a caravan with 32 more cubic feet of room. It's remarkable what a few alterations will do. Now get up to $1,500 cash back on Dodge Caravan. What can I do you for, young fella? Just the filter. Just the filter. <laughs> Did anyone else hear that? <laughs> Son, you might think you're gonna live forever, but you put inferior oil filters in your engine, and it's not long for this world. Look, nothing's more dependable than America's number one filter, Fram. You'll thank me someday. Ah, <sighs> youth. Fram oil filters. Pay a little more now, or pay a lot later. Here's our Southwest Airlines Trivia Troll fan question. Christine Maurer of Carpentersville asks, which current White Sox was the second player in Major League history to record his first two hits and his first two at-bats in the same inning? Survey said, it was Norton. Greg Norton, August 19th, 1996, and Billy Martin did it in 1950 for the Yankees. Now, those are some good-looking burns. So now Christine qualifies to win a trip to see the Sox take on the Orioles. On September 1st, Southwest Airlines has fair solo. You have the freedom to go place and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. That's not Elvis. No, 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 no. 1 0 on Travis Fryman. I think blonde hair and a red beard would look great on you, Wimpy. Oh, yeah. You can't grow a beard. And I'm never dying my hair again. I promised. I promised myself. You mean if we won eight in a row, you wouldn't nah. dye your hair? Not a chance. You know, I don't think that's very good for your hair. Went after some high heat. But nine in a row. Nope. Ten. Yep. Uh -uh. All right. If we win 10 in a row, I'll die my hair. All right. Done. Pops that one up out of play. Whoop, the low section. 
somebody winds up with a souvenir and you can add to your cap collection with the latest and cool sports gear tomorrow. Sox take on the Indians at 12:15, and the first 20,000 fans receive a Sox cap in red, courtesy of AM1000 and Ed Farmer. John Rooney is also behind it. For tickets, call 312-831-1 Sox. Dead gummit. So you're really going to dye your hair blonde if we win 10 in a row. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you heard it, fans. So you used to do stuff like that all the time 30 years ago. I mean, this is nothing for you. <laughs> you just don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> two two coming up. Kruder sets up outside. Change up. Got it. Wow. Hands came forward right on the outside corner. <laughs> what a good looking family. <laughs> Witten grounds this one too hot for the Caruso. Mike fires the first and very quickly two up two down. Cubs leading the Fighting Fish six to one. Bottom of the sixth. Sammy Sosa his 36th home. All right. Sammy, that cat can hit. Good grief! Would everybody get one of these when they walked in the door? Yeah. Oh, is that right? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> A great gig. Strike on the outside corner. And you and I were the only two guys that never grew sideburns. You know that? Couldn't. Couldn't, yeah. I tried. No chance. Couldn't do it. Oh, good strike on the outside corner at the knees. Not many guys are going to hit that one. David Justice says, I can't. Look at last year, one year ago, he had he was hitting 340 with 18 homers. This year, 286-13. Yeah, it's still very respectable. Last year, he was in fuego. Yes. Good fastball strikeout. Five for Parquet. One, two, three, go the Indians after three and a half. They lead it one zip. Southwest Airlines, with fares so low, you have the freedom to go places and do things you never thought possible. Fly Southwest Airlines. Want to get away? Southwest has your ticket to freedom. For only $99 or less, you can fly anywhere Southwest Airlines flies when you purchase by July 23rd. You are now free to move about the country. What do you get when you add up all Dodge Neon's horsepower, plus all of its interior room, both of which are greater than you'll find here, then subtract a hefty $1,500 cash back, hit total, and Neon is yours for under $10,500. Or instead of cash back, choose low 1.9 financing. Another way to save. And as they say, the numbers speak for themselves. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. My grandson, Gary, is one of those high-tech whiz kids. He's an Ameritech ISDN specialist. I told him whatever that meant, I was real proud of him. He said ISDN's a digital phone line that's nine times faster for internet and transferring files. It's his job to help small businesses like mine figure it out. I told him to hook his grandma up. My old 14.4 modem was a dog. Call 1-800-TEAM-DATA for big savings on an ISDN line. It's 1-0 Cleveland, bottom of the fourth inning here at Comiskey Park. On probably the nicest evening we've had all year for Elvis Night. And there is Trent Carlini. He's a Rocco Rubens right there, honey. I want to hold her tight all of the night, but all she wants to do is dance. Rock, 
little baby rock. Rock a hum on the hum on the hum on the. <laughs> There's Frank Thomas. He takes a fastball inside from Charles Nagy. Frank went after the first pitch. Nagy threw him in the first inning. Grounded out to shortstop. Hitting at 272 now. The big hurt. 1-0 pitch right there at the knees. 88 mile an hour fastball from Charles Nagy. The Rocket is pitching tonight against the Yankees. It's Guido. Oh, I bet you they got a big crowd over there. Oh, oh my the goodness. That's great. One of our really fun nights last year was Elvis Knight. Looks like we're going to duplicate it this evening. There's a strike on the outside corner, two and two. He's almost as big as Beanie Babies. Yeah, and they're both dead, I guess. Yeah, Beanie Babies. Wow. That was fun. We gave away Blizzard. Here's what Frank was doing a year ago. Wow. 376 with 21 homers. This year, 272 with 15. 104 points. Wow. There's a grounder. Foul wide a third. Nice play by our ball girl. Our Fox Sports Chicago ball girl. Let's see, who's the Rocket pitching against tonight? It's uh, David Wells, 11 and 2. Rocket is 10 and 6. Great matchup there. There's fastball. Walked him up high. So the leadoff man reaches. And here's Albert. Second walk issued by Nagy. And since the All Star break, the Sox pitching. The record of 6 and 3. 3 2 2 earned run average. That's good. And the offense, 275 with 17 long ones. Here's Albert. He lined out to second base his first time up. I'll feel very deep and straight away. First ball, fastball upstairs. And since the All-Star break, Albert Bell's played nine games. He has hit nine homers, driven in 19. That's good, 459. 17 hits. He has been, as Dan Patrick would say, in fuego. Uh -uh, upstairs, so it's 2-0. Oh. Boy, when you're hot, it seems like you got that 2-0 -oh count all the time. 2-0, oh, 3-1, 3-2. Yeah, because you're seeing it so well. Exactly. You don't jump out at the ball. And you don't you, swing at pitcher's pitches. That's right. Yeah. And if they happen to dot the corner, you just take it. That's right. And you, you look at it so nicely. You don't get out there and hit it to the shortstop or the third baseman. Yeah. He looked at that one. Ooh, strike on the outside corner at the knees. Late call by Joe Brinkman. Tough pitch. Took something off of that one. Oh boy. That's nasty. 82 mile an hour changeup, you'd have to call that one. Yeah, it's almost like a BP fastball coming off his fastball. His fastball anywhere from 88 89 tonight. There's a strike. That looks like a splitter. Could have been the first one he has thrown. See, Albert just three for 17 against Nagy in his career. They want to come inside. Fastball. He ropes it. He got it out over the plate. And Albert made him pay. Fortunately for Nagy, who has given up the most homers in the major leagues at 26, didn't get that. He didn't get that one elevated. That's a two spot. Nagy is very, very fortunate. This one didn't leave the ballpark. Yeah, that ball was scalded. How about Juan Gonzalez? Still hasn't driven in a run since the break. He's still had, stuck at 101. Albert third in the league now with 85 runs batted. And here's Robin. 
Comes inside, fastball misses. Robin hitting at 261. He hit it hard his first time up, took Witten to the warning track in left field. Thomas and Bell, the runners. Ventura, the hitter, he takes a good sinker on the outside corner at the knees. Not much you're going to do with that pitch. Hey, Robin with runners in scoring position, not that good. Far below his standards. They're playing him to pull. Get the ball high, deep to left field, way back goes Witten to the wall. He leaps it off the fence. Frank Thomas is going to score. Albert Bell in the third. Whoa, close play. That ball just missed going out of here. And Big Mark Witten almost caught it. Hit a long run, so Ventura going to left field two consecutive at bats. Finds an opening. Well, he's making the right move here off the right hander Nagy. He's got that tailing fastball. You can see he just goes right with it, not trying to get greedy. I think Robin thought this ball was out of here. But Mark Witten can still throw. Well, you can see he just did not get a glove on it. Great effort by Witten, though. It yeah. really was. And when he got to the ball, Albert knows how Witten can throw, and he was busting his hump getting in the third, and he knew it was going to be close. Yeah, Watch what? this. Boy, can he throw yeah, that's what? A, look at that. I mean. You know, if that ball's on the other side of the bag, he might have it. Yeah, I think so. I think he would have been out. Man. Low laser. So, nice hitting situation here for Ordonez. 1-1 one, one tie. Drive that runner, hit it to the right side, drive the runner home from third and get him over to third for Will Cordero. Now Mags was safe on an error his first time up. That was in the second inning. Tried to reach third on the infield single by Cordero, the next hitter, and was thrown out. Lines that one. He's trying to do the right thing. Exactly. Mags has shown us. From a rookie standpoint, he might be, as far as trying to do the right thing, the best situational hitter on our ball club. Might, yeah, could very easily be. Oh boy. Pulls that one. That looked like a splitter. Yeah, off speed pitch, and he was out in front of it. it looked like he was set up right there to try to take it into right field. Now he's got a battle. Splitter. Yeah. Pretty good one, too. That's that's some downward movement in too, so it's tough to go the opposite way on that particular pitch. So the 0-2 to Ordonez, he's sitting up way outside. He misses by a foot. Wow. Third, yeah. The only thing I'd like to see Mags do in that situation is maybe back off the plate a little bit. Hawk. He's right on top of the plate trying to do that inside out swing. It'd be a little bit easier. It'd be a lot easier. A lot easier. When you're trying to take the ball in the right field, you back off the plate. When you're trying to pull the ball, you get up closer to the plate. Yeah. That was the one thing that I knew I could do is it, it didn't want to, I always want to stay up in front of the plate, but backing off it made that that stroke to right field, that little shank. A lot easier to do. Do it almost every time, as a matter of fact. <laughs> There's a splitter that Cordero takes, one and all. You know, some of us are just masters at certain things. Well, you made the shank an art form. Yeah. Ow! Check, swing, crack, back. Wow. Cordero's real susceptible to that pitch up and in because he is diving from the get go. Look at the location right here, the movement coming in. Another good pitch by Nagy. Max had the one good pitch, the first pitch he saw in that previous at bat. 
And then after that, now you just make some good pitches on him, and he did the same thing to Cordero. So, Mike Cameron's got to get a hit to score these guys. Ooh, that's a pretty good pitch to hit right there. Breaking ball, middle of the plate. By his first, by looking at Mike Cameron in his first at bat, doesn't look like he's picking up Nagy. He was really jumping out at the pitch, and right there, that's the one he's got a hammer. Pitch misses, one and one. Well, it happens. You get some certain guys out there. You just really have a very, very difficult time picking the ball up off of. Something in emotion doesn't set right with your line of sight or your eyesight. Yeah. You just don't pick it up, and you certainly don't pick up the spin. Splitter grounded at third. Fryman makes the play, throws him out. Sox put a run on the board, but it could have been a lot more. They strand two in scoring position after four. We're tied at one. Let's run the numbers on Dodge Stratus. A double wishbone race inspired suspension plus more standard features than Accord, Altima, and 626. Subtract $1,500 cash back, hit total, and Stratus starts at $14,000. Considerably less than what you'd pay for these. Or instead of cash back, select low 1.9 financing. That can also save you money. Gee, you'll love this new math. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. deal every Monday at Comiskey Park all Sox tickets are half priced now that doesn't mean you get half a seat it means that all tickets at Comiskey Park for every Monday home game are half priced so that means you get two for one three for one and a half four for two Seventy-four for the price of thirty-seven. The central leading tribe come to town Monday night at six thirty on Fox Sports Chicago. Well, one-one tie here at Elvis Night, and Fox Sports Chicago and TCI present Future Socks. Just take a photo of your child eight years old or younger in White Sox apparel and a baseball pose. Include their name, age, address, and phone number, and send it to the address on your screen. Entries must be postmarked no later than July 20th, and winners will be announced on August 5th in the game room. By Chet Cockpit and Dave Otto. They'll tell you who they are. And it's the top of the fifth inning. We're going to start off with Pat Borders. Number eight, nine, and one hitters. It'll be Borders, Bell, and then Kenny Lofton. Pat 0 for 1. Ground to the third his first time up. Grounds that one hard to third. Robin Ventura will take care of it, and there's one gone. So twice Borders has grounded out to third baseman Robin Ventura. Robin seems to be in just a, that was an easy play of course even though the ball was hit higher but he seems to be just in a great rhythm defensively. He has really thrown some leather since the all star break not that he didn't prior to that but he's made some spectacular plays. In the last nine ball games. Yeah everything looks real easy yeah. for him right now. It's, that's when you get in a real good rhythm. Yeah I wouldn't know what that felt like but. Sounds good. Yeah. Great concept. Like when you were in a real good rhythm at first base, you didn't get hit in the behind. No. By many. I didn't get in a good rhythm very often, though. See, that's that's the question. When I was in that rhythm, no, I, I take some off the kneecaps. <laughs> There's a pop up. That is not a high pop up. Here's Robin. My well the sure guy catch it. I'll never forget the first play of the game. I was thinking about my batting average at Old Comiskey, and Ricky Henderson was the batter. I'm playing it on the grass, you know, a little respect, even though Ricky never butted. He had a one hop bullet to me, hit me right in the shins. 
Shin? Sh oh, Shin. Shin Burger, huh? Yeah. Well, I can't say about that good group. Kenny Lofton homered his last time up. He got a changeup on a 2 2 count and ripped it out of here. Fastball upstairs. I love that story you tell about. Who was it that hit you in the behind? Was it Stargell or? Really Stargell. Hmm. He didn't hit him very hard, did he? <laughs> I still got the imprint. Oh, man. I remember I was playing first base against the Pirates. And we had to have the infield in when McCovey. I mean, no, no, uh, Stargell was hitting. That was like real scary. There's a liner to left. He's three for three. Lord and Lord. He can hit. Got a and fastball. And he this is time. probably going to be running. You would think. Good piece of hitting by Lofton. Oh, yeah. Tell us in that Boston series, he really didn't swing the bat at all. They look terrible up there. Not tonight. No, he's he's real dangerous tonight. Well, hey, often. Maybe, excuse me, the scaredest I've ever been at first base was when McCovey was hitting. Him. Yeah. I was holding Willie Mays on uh, <laughs> Phoenix, and we were fighting each other to see who was going to put the other one in front of the other. <laughs> There's a shield. In fact, this one reporter got some pictures of it. And they had it on the station out there. <laughs> it went all around of us waltzing around yeah. to see who was going to get in front oh, of the other one. That's scary. We had a hard throwing right hander out there named Mark Ballinger, throwing about 98. And the harder you threw it, of course, the harder Willie hit it. Yeah. He was coming down us with some wicked, wicked shots. Oh, yeah. That's, I was scared of death. I really was. Yeah, you know, it was a good place to pitch him was down and in. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he take rows of seats out <laughs> on that pitch. Only well, can imagine what he'd have done to you. Boy, could he hit the ball hard? Oh man, he's a little bitty bat too. Real short bat. You know? Stretch. All stretched out. What a what a great guy. Meanwhile, Vizcal's got a 1 1 pitch coming up with Lofton at first. You know, Kenny stole just 27 bases last year. He had an injury riddled season with the Atlanta Braves. There's a grounder to second. You're up to second, and that will end the inning. So they failed to score. We're halfway home, tied at one.